Well, they might be some of your favorite shows. I know I love them. The TV heroes on Chicago Fire and Chicago PD sure to go through a lot. Yeah, a lot of good works going on in Chicago, but they do that here too. But what does it look like to be a real first responder? Channel 6's Andrew Moore gives us a glimpse tonight. Guys, firefighting makes for great TV, and Chicago Fire even has loyal viewers from our real-life fire departments. But how close are shows like Chicago Fire to the real thing? Well, I hung out with the crew at Central Bell County Fire and Rescue to find out. Firefighters have to spring into action in a moment's notice, but in real life, the drive is less like this and more, well, quiet. And at Central Bell County Fire and Rescue in Nolanville, the heroics don't start with a drive. They start with a checklist. So we're going to do truck checks now. We have Med 5-1, Squad 5-1. Firefighters must be ready for anything, and a fire truck is basically a giant toolbox on wheels. As vent saw is essentially a chainsaw with an extra attachment on there so that we never go too far into a wall. They have to have all the hoses, connection tools, and water, sure, but Jocelyn Boykin even needs to be ready to land a rescue chop. These are to set up my LZ for a helo landing. Of course, the show normally skips the list, showing our heroes sprinting into action in just seconds. But is that realistic? We have to be as fast as possible whenever we're getting on the trucks. At Central Bell County, you have to be in your gear and in the truck in 90 seconds. Landon Hubble can be ready in just 30 seconds. Tanks and masks are in the seats, so he'll just hook up on the way. But once they get on the scene, how do real firefighters handle a rescue situation? When approaching a life-threatening situation, real firefighters don't do that. For the most part, we don't have people that go rogue because, again, it causes a lot of problems. You can have, you know, you get yourself hurt or killed, you get other like, firefighters hurt or killed. When they get to a scene, they work as a team and already have a plan. Practice so that when we are in that kind of situation, we know exactly what we're going to do. Don't worry about the elevator, though. Casey was fine. Castillo says real-life firefighters stay calm, take their time, and don't run into danger unless it's absolutely necessary. But also, like in the show, there are times it is necessary. There's people in the house. We're going inside. Override! And it turns out a real building on fire looks less like this, but instead like this. Often first responders can't see a thing as they move through the smoke. We're usually going to be either on all fours or crawling on our stomachs until it is safe enough and the fire is extinguished enough. And they face multiple dangers. Often in the show, firefighters get stranded. Chief, is anyone coming? That's Casey again, isn't it? On a real fire scene, a firefighter always has a buddy ready with the tools to get them out. We have initial team, the initial attack, and then we'll immediately have a RIT team formed. We have an extra bottle in here in case they have to go inside to retrieve a downed firefighter. But here, again, the team comes through. Castillo says that teamwork and loyalty is something the show gets right every time. The fear that they kind of have of, is it, are they going to be okay? Are they going to make it through the brotherhood that they have? Exactly how we are. And in Central Texas, a real life brotherhood trains every day. Which is about 55, 58, so good job. To protect you. Central Bell County Fire and Rescue is a volunteer fire department, but they responded to over 1,500 calls last year and stay ready every day. Tune in next Wednesday to see the real life experience of other first responders and tune into Chicago Fire to see how Casey gets into a jam next week. I I'm guessing, though, I, I haven't seen the script. Guys? <laughs> exactly. It makes right? me rather be an actor than one of those, you know, true heroes. I mean, by gosh, they, they put their lives on the line every day. Yes, indeed.